Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, and welcome back to Prey. We've explored a lot of the so far unexplored Niramod section, but we still have two main areas left to go. First is Volunteer Quarters, we picked up the key code at some point, and it's completely dark. Good thing we've got this flashlight. Doesn't come up that much, but there are times when it is very important. Oh, Disruptor Stun Gun. A lot of recycler charges, which were confiscated from the volunteers. The volunteers who are in, um, incidentally, prisoners from the Russian Gulag. They are they are technically volunteers because you know it's either be a volunteer at Transtar here or spend the rest of your life in a Russian gulag. Uh, actually, I should say Soviet gulag because the Soviet Union never fell because the civil uh, or, sorry the Cold War just sort of petered out. This is a bad range for the shotgun. I should switch to something else. And yet I didn't. Oh, come on. One of you had to be the mimic. There we go. Oh. Hello, operator. Come on. Stop hiding. Thank you. Alright, that bought me a little time at least. Oh, a chipset. What's this one do? Ooh. More ammunition from robotic enemies. It's always useful. Huh. Looks like someone had set up a cot here. Is that because they did a lot of research here and spent a lot of time at the office? Or is it because they were trying to uh, defend this area and thought they would be here for a long time? I mean, obviously they weren't. We are still on day one of the accident. And there, everyone in here is dead. So while they barricaded the door, they... Did not survive. Oh. Oh, there's somebody down there. Oh, it's a Technopath. Oh, I'm gonna break you, Technopath. Get closer, Technopath. I'm ready for you. Oh, what else can work against him? Lift field, no. Kinetic blast, that'll help. Nice general damage there. The Technopath is responsible for these corrupted, uh... Ooh, I got them all with that one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, they create a giant sparking point. It zaps you. Oh. Disables your weapons because all of them... All of them are at least partially electronic. Gotta watch out for that. Oof. Cobalt huh. Engineering Class Operator. Got this little poster for them and everything. Yeah, that guy, that, that guy is not easy. Under any conditions. Under the best of conditions. Huh. Looks like there's a way to get up from here. So while I can't get in the front door, maybe I can get in through the top. Hmm. Looks like the only way down is through that grate, but luckily we have a way of shrinking ourselves. If only temporarily. And we've even got a little object here which should fit right through it. Eh. 
And down we go. Yeah, that's good enough. Sounds like there's a mimic around here. Chittering away. Oh, greater mimic. Okay, if you're not the one, then... Damn it. You then. Finally. Well, here's Halton Graves himself. Got a lot of stuff on him. Doesn't look like the Mimic's got him. Oh. Oh, he just found out the secret. Exotic materials are non-terrestrial. Exotic materials are required to create Psy Hypos and Neuro Mods. Hmm. Looks like a Transtar headquarters from Earth. A spare Neuromod fabrication plan. Hooray! Running checks. Simlab secure. Well, except for Igwe, but he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter Maya? But that's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah. During the security checks, looking for those red flag sykes that the brass is up in arms about? Apparently, came home, found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spend your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. You already said that. But I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, the Fly by William Blake. Is not a fly's life worth the same as a man's? Alex, I figured it out. Just too late. Graves, are you still in fabrication? The receptor molecules, the exotic neurotransmitters, we didn't synthesize them. And there's no terrestrial source. Graves, don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. But you, you never... I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh, God, but the Neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, do not touch the Neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Hmm. Helen knew. She's being sarcastic with Halden. All right, four missing Neuromods. That's part of one of the smuggling... Storylines. And yes, there are multiple smuggling storylines. Uh, nothing up here. Oh, what about up there, though? And, uh, just some sort of giant air tank. But yeah. That's why all of this biological research has to take place up in space. Because that is where we get the mimics from. That is where we get the exotic materials from. And we require them in order to create any Neuromod. Requesting new operator. Transfer civil 495 science class operator. Ready to deploy. Scanning. Neuro imaging shows your mental resources are operating. This should help. You should feel more alert. Our laboratory quality assurance plan is up to date. Damn. I'm afraid most systems are damaged or locked down at the moment. Calibrating. Dr. U profile indicates subject and researcher. Unusual. The procedures manual specifies no eating, drinking, or smoking, but this is often ignored. Are we conducting an experiment today? Dr. Yu, your neural patterns show signs of Typhon integration. 
Try deep storage if you need to access archived data. Primarily, I take readings and analyze data. I also provide reference lookups. Okay, geez. Guess you're done. There's a little bit of an upstairs up here. Not too much of one, though. Two flowers. Uh. And yes, there is a way to... There is a way to open that. In fact, you can open it from Graves' office, which I skipped over. But doing so gives you a whole bunch of exotic material and Typhon Plasma, which apparently Graves did not realize came from Typhons. But yeah, you need Typhon material in order to uh, rework the brain with such fine actions that you can rewire the brain. There's no other way of doing it. Check the path leavings here. Including a few turrets, which you can repurpose for your own use after they uh, break. But it is not recommended that you bring out a turret in order to fight a technopath. They can take over bits of technology that you that they hadn't had when you found them. A bad time to bring an operator. Huh. This must be where they engineer the neuromods. But yeah, that's why it was a natural next step to not just use neuro, uh, not just use Typhon material in order to create neuromods, but to use Typhon patterns and add them to a human brain. Oh. There's this office key. Guess I could have gotten it from there, too. And yeah, there are a few ways down here. But one of them is to turn into something small and then fall. Oh, Jesus. God damn it. That's what I get for running in like that. Ooh. Can I throw it or move it from here? Or Oh, I can just pass through it, as long as I'm technically holding it. Damn it. It's not the right button at all. There we go. Yeah, that's how you get in here. Without using mimicry. Oh, huh. it's actually a hole up here. Oh, and it leads directly into this upper office. All right, then. I'd say we're done with the, uh... Oh, yeah, I just want to check on something quick here. Yeah, I completely forgot to look at this utility. Would have saved me a little effort later on, but... Well, no harm. No foul. And, yeah. As long as there's nothing over here, that's it for fabrication. And going through these doors. And get me back outside. Alright, now I actually skipped over most of volunteer quarters in order to explore fabrication. So let's go back in here and see if there's anything else worth finding. Well, at the very least, they had a recreation area. Nothing much to it, but honestly, the employees don't get that much better. Oh, 
I volunteered. Alexei Petrov. Well, apparently some of the volunteers get off lightly, or get off uh, better than they were. The idea behind volunteering is that, yeah, if you get through the volunteer process, then afterwards you are set free. And apparently, in fact, you are provided a few Neuromods. Now, obviously not all of the Neuromods that you received, since, uh, since they have that big extraction chamber. But I guess some of them... So, um, yeah, I imagine it is a risky process, though, and it's, yeah, this would be something that they really can't do with other species. The human brain is extraordinarily unique, and I needed to recharge my flashlight, that's why everything just went dark. I'm just searching the cabinets here if there's anything I missed. Alright. Oh, I missed the microwave. Oh, the cameras are still working. They must be on a separate circuit. Levitation pods. Looks like a uh, metal detector. The other side of that broken, uh, broken door I was at before. Looks like there's an area to get up there, but I'm gonna need some glue. Oh. Someone's, uh, hidden liquor stash. Well, this seems like a relatively safe spot, so I'm recharging the, cap the flashlight again. Okay. I can force that door open. Let me just... Someone just stuffed some banana peels up here. Oh man, there's a whole area up here. And a door. Oh, that's the locked hatch from earlier. There could have been a way to get in here. Alright, what do we have in here? Looks like there's only one facility for both men and women for showering and... Damn it. Damn it. See, that's why I use the shotgun all the time. Because my aim is much better when I don't have to aim. Sorry about the frame rate, it just drops down a bit sometimes, and it's being a little more persistent than usual. John Haskins. Ah, making deals with the volunteers. But yeah, the volunteers having only nice things happen to them is kind of undermined by the fact that they are only referred to by number. There we go. If they wanted the staff to treat them like people, then they should have given them people names. But they didn't. That implies something. Hmm, nothing much up here either. Well, at least there's enough red light to see by. Oh, what's this? Can't get back there. Aha! Turn on the lights in this place. Okay, so there is nothing back there. Oh dear, everything's uh, electrified. That'll make it difficult to get out without hurting myself. 
But then, uh... Maybe that jumping ability will help. Phantom shift. Oh, damn it, I missed. Ah, crap. Oh. Oh, that's right. I created... I created double. And I can scan that double. Morgan Yu. Strength. Devastating beauty. Weakness. Toxic family. Immunity. I wish. Resistance. Good advice. <laughs> Alright, damn it. Ah. It doesn't really let you select a target the way Dishonored does. You just sort of jump forwards and if you hit something along the way, then whoops, too bad. Looks like these are the living quarter areas. And again, the uh, living quarters, compared to most of the crew, aren't that bad. And the crew are also living in these little, uh, bunk bed areas here. Not much to them in either case. We saw a few of them floating out into space by the crew quarter section. If you're an important staff member, you get a proper, uh, bedroom and office and... Aha! Yep, this is the person whose, uh, whose stash we encountered. I knew that was there, because, uh, it had an unusual pillow. It's a nice little indicator. Alright. Oh dear. There's a poltergeist in here. The game just said so. Which implies that the poltergeist is invisible and capable of moving objects. Oh. It's not letting me uh, scan it. But I can at least shoot it when it starts glowing. Why do I even have the psychoscope on? It's not using... It's not being useful at all. Gotcha. Oof. Hey, that's right. All the security stations should be working now. Well, it looks like I got everybody who was in the Neuromod division anyway. A lot of the volunteers are in Psychotronics right now. That must be where they do most of the testing. Makes sense. But then there's this one who's in crew quarters instead. Strange. Doesn't seem like they would want them to be in crew quarters. Hmm. I think we found this email chain before. Which is how we got the crew quarters, uh, volunteer quarters number. Ugh. All right then. Yeah, that's it for the uh, for the foyer stuff. But we do still have one thing left to find back on the sound stage. That one safe we couldn't crack before. So. Let's just do this nice and quickly here. Got really no other business to being back here at this point. Hello there, Phantom. How do you like my new greeting?
And over here we got a mimic. Sneak attack for 200 damage. Oh, an etheric phantom now. Let's just paint him. Maybe sneak up on him from above. And you know, I should have landed on him, because I've got the DFA, but I forgot until after I had landed on the ground. Anyway, probably would have hurt. It, it did hurt just jumping over that thing. Alright, here's the debriefing room with the, um, war Oh! Hello there. Oh, I broke the monitor. Yeah, debriefing room with the, uh, Morgan exclusive, uh, chair. And that briefcase was the hidden stash earlier. And your code is 5150 for a Psy Hypo fabrication plan. And some exotic material, and... Ooh! A Psychoscope chipset. A Fear Blast when killing Typhon. Sounds useful. They generally don't come in big groups, but when they do, you don't want them to be in big groups. So that Fear Blast may help with that. Ah, oh, damn it. It's trying to jump onto the top of that. Maybe use it as a way to get back upstairs. Kind of forgot where the upstairs is. Or at least how to get to it. Uh, back in here again. Oh! Like I said, my shotgun panic button. Okay, here we go. Here's the stairs. And anybody in here? No? Well, good. That's good. Because with that, we have finished exploring the Niramod Division. Just a straight shot back to the foyer. And then next time, we will be taking a look at Psychotronics. See you then.